what is going on my good people of the united sim football association it's your boy stacks here again you already know who i gotta come with me in the booth got the home dog i don't even know i was going with that my back but i got caboose yeah, up in the booth <laughs> with me and this is a special day today uh we gotta reveal the season nine schedule going into the fold we got everything cooking everything is finalized and can't wait to see who's going to be playing what on each week is going to be a fun season as always but how are you feeling caboose oh i'm feeling tired you <laughs> man all right but you know what? i am kind of hyped up my ravens uh, got a win and only i think had one player get injured granted that was a season ending injury but uh, you know it, it, Small victories. Small victories. Gotta take the small W's, man. Jacksonville got the dub too. That was a crazy game. Uh, but we got it done. You love to see it. What's going on, Ryan Davis? What's up, Mr. Tom Riddell up in the chat as well. Uh Dobbins uh, was bound to get injured, let's be real. Definitely Ryan <laughs> Davis. Yeah, you're not wrong. Commander's you're not got wrong. the W. Um, see you. But uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go in order of reverse standings, revealing schedules, and then we'll put the two expansion teams kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but without further ado, the, uh, I believe the New York Mafia finished dead last last year. So we will get through their schedule first. Most definitely. I just popped it up there for you, starting off with the Pittsburgh Roughnecks to start their season. Going to Toronto for the Rafe's first home game. Uh, that's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, then they got to face the other uh, new expansion team in a New Jersey battalion. They'll be going to New Jersey for that. Rutherford, New Jersey. <coughs> going to be interesting. Uh, we got Tampa Bay. So that'll be New York's second home game, if you will. And then uh, they got to travel to Charlotte. After that, they <coughs> face the... Uh, New expansion team Toronto again for the second time. Then they will travel to St. Louis. Uh, then nope, they are home for St. Louis. They're home for St. Louis. Oh, you have it backwards. Red is yeah, red, red is home. Light is away. Okay, so you got. I was looking at it wrong. Then my bad. Then so you see, cause you see, uh, for Charlotte it has at. So that got me confused. Okay, so it will be at home for Charlotte. Well, now it's confusing. Because you, you wrote it back. How is it confusing? No, I didn't. It says at Charlotte. Yeah, it means they're going to Charlotte. But the home team is in red. My guy, look at the background color. I'm looking at it, but it's still weird. You see how it's, I get you see how it's nice, it's nice, and that cream color in the background behind Charlotte? I get that. The text, so the text just has to pop out different, okay, man? <laughs> I gotcha. But stop, <laughs> stop hating. I'm not hating. It's just weird. I'm just saying it, it looks weird. I see no, no, Charlotte. I'm thinking it's New York <laughs> at Charlotte. I think anyone would see that would say it like that. But you kind of get what I'm saying, though. Away, it'll be, uh, so New York will be away for that game, right? Yeah, so New York is home against Toronto, home against St. Louis, away against T Tacoma, home for Dallas, home against New Jersey, mm -hmm. and then away against Pittsburgh, away against Tampa, away against Huntington Beach, and then uh, home against Charlotte. Very well. Definitely an interesting mm -hmm. set there. You're breaking. <laughs> cool. Uh, a brutal Charlotte. Definitely interesting set for sure. New York got a pretty uh, tough stretch. Am I still breaking up? Yeah, she's. So. <laughs> I'll, 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 take, I'll take over though. But definitely interesting stretch there oh at the end gosh. there for New York, uh, going up against a very, very tough Pittsburgh team the second time around. And then they got Tampa, Huntington Beach, and then Charlotte to close the season definitely going to be a tough stretch for them but if they continue improving potentially could be something helpful for them to potentially make the playoffs you never know uh can't wait to see what they do and uh who will be the next team uh, to come forward uh, that would be 
Pittsburgh. Okay, so Pittsburgh will be just like we said earlier, they will be heading to New York for that ball game. And then uh they'll have their first home game against the New Jersey Battalion. Then they go back on the road towards Charlotte. Then they go back at home <coughs> against Toronto. So they're going back and forth, back and forth to start the season. Then they'll have a little bit of a away stretch there going to Anchorage, going to Tampa Bay, and then they'll be back at home facing Huntington Beach. St. Louis and New Jersey will be the next road stint there for Pittsburgh, and then they have a real, real nice long home stretch. Four of their last five games will be at home. Charlotte, New York, Arizona, and Tampa Bay, and then they'll finish their season on the road against Toronto. Um, you know, a pretty standard setup. Each team um, will play their own conference twice, one at home, once at home, once in the way. Um, so, and then they'll only play four of the six Western Conference teams. They'll get two home games and two away games against Western Conference teams. So, uh, I mean, with the teams that they drew this year, Anchorage, Huntington Beach is a tough one. Arizona is a tough one. Anchorage was a borderline playoff team in St. Louis uh, from last year. That's a tough one, too. So they drew a really tough Western Conference schedule right there. Uh, we'll see if they'll be able to take advantage of that, see if they could get their uh, feet under them. It's going to be a fun ride to see what Pittsburgh could do going into what I believe would be their world. Five, six, seven, eight, nine so this will be number five. So, going to be fun right there. Uh, who will be next on the list? Uh, up next is the Anchorage Snow Devils. Anchorage Snow Devils. How dare you? Okay, I'll go ahead and put them up there. And it looks like they will start their season at home against Arizona. That should be a fun ride there for sure. Then they'll be on the road to take on the newly uh, joining Western Conference St. Louis Archers. That's going to be a crazy game for sure. Then they got Huntington Beach at home. Uh, that will be an interesting game, especially if they continue playing like they did the last season. Um, New Jersey at uh, New Jersey. That will be fun. Uh, then they'll play Pittsburgh, then Tacoma, and then Dallas. So they're going back and forth for pretty much half of the season, which is going to be pretty interesting, but it should wrap uh, round itself out a little bit later on. As you see right there, they'll have two away games, Plankton Beach and Charlotte. That's a tough stretch on the road late. <coughs> then you have uh, St. Louis and Toronto both at home. And then they'll go back and forth again to close it out. They'll be going towards Dallas. Then they'll have Tacoma at home. And then they'll close out the season with Arizona. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think one of the only teams that goes back and forth like that all season, home away, home away. Uh, most everyone has some sort of home or away stretch to kind of break up that monotony. Anchorage just didn't kind of pan out for them. But um, key weeks to keep track of here are those um, at Huntington Beach, at Charlotte versus St. Louis stretch. Three really big, tough teams from last season that. Uh, in consecutive order like that, I mean, you could uh, playoffs uh, at that point become more of a concern. Most definitely, most definitely sure, and uh, we can go ahead and go to the next team whenever you're ready. Who you got? We got the Tacoma Eruption up next. Tacoma Eruption. Let's go ahead and get that up for you right here. Shout out to Washington State doing their thing, but they have a pretty solid schedule too. They're going to try to see if they can make it back to the playoffs. One of our OG teams doing their thing, uh, but they'll start out at home. So they'll see the Tacoma Dome do their thing and uh, they'll be playing against Dallas on that game. Then they got to go on the road to face their uh, very, very tough blue rivals in Huntington Beach. So we'll see the great field there. Then they got to go back home. So they'll face Arizona. They have a two game away streak 
going after that with St. Louis and Toronto. Then they got to play against Anchorage at home. So they got to go ahead and set up in Tacoma for that game. Arizona, they're going to go back on the road to face them. So they'll be seeing Arizona in the five-game stretch. That'll be pretty fun. Um, Let's see. Mm -hmm. New York and Tampa Bay, they'll be at home for those two games. And then they got to go back on the road to face Dallas and New Jersey. Then they got Huntington Beach at home. And then Anchorage will be the home team there uh, for that particular game, right? Yep, I said that, right? And then St. Louis will finish out the season uh, against Tacoma. It'll be in Tacoma. So that'll be a big, big matchup there for the conference. For sure, for sure. Um, and I'm pretty sure every team, their last three games are all going to be conference. At least, at least two or three games uh, will be from the conference at the end of the season there. So it really puts an emphasis on uh, making those games count and setting up potential uh, playoff races and matchups. Mm-hmm. And looking at the last four there, you, I love how you highlighted the last four games because that's that main stretch. Uh, before the teams pretty much get finalized on who makes the playoffs. It's kind of favorable in Tacoma's uh, setup there. You see the new New Jersey team there, and then they got Huntington Beach, a team they always play hard. Then you got Anchorage as well, who can uh, potentially lose to Tacoma as well. So if they could come out with a three out of four setup to end the season, and then they do well before that, you could see the red back into the playoffs. You never know. Yeah, it'll be uh, really interesting to see how they uh, figure themselves out this year. They did not have a great showing last year and missed out on the playoffs. Um, so we'll see if they can swing it back in there. I think they, they've got a nice enough schedule that they could do it. Most definitely. They got the talent, too. They got the quarterback talent there. We'll see if they could do it. But uh, you have the four teams that missed the playoffs last season. Uh, do you want to go ahead and move towards our uh, two new teams coming in? We'll do uh, New Jersey first and then Toronto, alphabetical order. So pulling up with New Jersey. New Jersey, do your thing, homeboy. Shout out to Rutherford up in the chat. And that's going to be a fun ride there. New Jersey, they do have an away set up to start out the season. And uh, they're going to face Charlotte and then Pittsburgh to start their season. Uh, after that, they'll have their first set of home games here against New York. So they'll have the New York versus New Jersey set up there to start out season nine at home. I can't wait to see that one. And then we also have Anchorage as well uh, going at them in New Jersey. Now, Huntington Beach will be a interesting game there for sure after that home stretch. And then that'll be on the road. So they got to go to California for that game. Then they got Charlotte and Tampa at home again. Another tough setup there at home, but should be fun to see that field. And uh, by the way, I did edit the field as well. Made it a lot better for you. So I got that going on. Then they got Toronto at, is that away? Yes, it is. So they got to go to to away. Uh, Yeah, got to go to Toronto for that game. The first time the two new expansion teams meet up. That's going to be a fun ride. See how far those two teams have made it up to that point. Then we got Pittsburgh at home for New Jersey. Then New York. They have to go back on the road to face their uh, in-state rivals. Then they got two games at home, Tacoma and Toronto. And then they got to face Dallas and Tampa Bay to close out the year on the road. Yeah, so uh, game to kind of look out for i'd say for new jersey that uh, week eight matchup against toronto well uh, was going to be really uh, it'd be an interesting one to see the new two new expansion teams play off against each other um and then uh as i think you mentioned highlighting any game against new york uh is going to be an instant rivalry game so Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And it's fun that they're both in the same conference as, you know, as expected. So we'll see them twice uh, going up against their new team that's joining with them and their in-state rivals. So they got four huge games ahead of them that they're going to be looking forward to playing for sure. 
Yes, sir. So now moving right along on to Toronto, the Wraiths, with their inaugural season. Let's go ahead and do it. Shout out to Toronto. First set up in Canada for the United States Football Association. Can't wait to see it. But they got to go. Actually, no, they got the first two games at home. I looked at it wrong there. But they got Tampa Bay coming into town. So that's going to be a fun ride there from uh, Western Florida going up to the cold, cold setup there in Toronto. Going to be fun. And then, like we mentioned in the last one, they got to play against uh, New York at home. So shout out to Toronto. After that, they're going to go on the road for their first road game against Dallas. Then they will take the trip to Pennsylvania to take on Pittsburgh. Following that, they have a game against the Tacoma Eruption at home. That's going to be a fun game for sure. Then they got the Mafia again. So that is going to be week six. And that time it will be in New York. So can't wait to see that one. Then they have a three-game home stretch. They got Charlotte, they got New York, and then they got Arizona. So that's going to be up to week nine. Then you got Tampa Bay, uh, Anchorage, New Jersey, and then Charlotte. The four-game away stretch there for the homies in Toronto. Going to be interesting to see if they can <coughs> potentially make the playoffs, but they'll need to get through that gauntlet on the road in order for that to happen. And then you got Pittsburgh to close out the season. Always tough, always giving, uh, giving teams fits here as well. So. Shout out to Toronto. How are you feeling about it? Uh, you know what? That four-game away stretch at the end of the season is going to make or break their year. Um, I mean, it's just brutal. Um, it, it's a little bit nicer because you do have that three-game home stretch before it, but four weeks on the road in a row, like, it's just tough. So I, I think that's going to really test the mettle of this Toronto Wraiths team. See if they could spook their way in the playoffs for sure. Shout out to the homie Krim in the chat. He says he's ready to go. And uh, now that we got through the first six, it's time to talk about the teams that made the playoffs this past season. And uh, which team would you like to start out with? Uh, well, you know what? I think we go through the uh, um, through the seating here. It would go to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Typhoon doing their stuff. I ain't mad at you. Shout out to Western Florida again. But it looks like the homies in Tampa, just like we said in the last one, they're starting their season on the road. So they're going to be having a away game there against Toronto. And then they got a home uh, home stretch here, small one of two games. They got to play Charlotte at home and then St. Louis at home. So they got to go up against their former conference buddies in St. Louis to close that. Then they got New York on the road uh then they got dallas and pittsburgh straight up after that at home in florida then they got a three game away uh away stretch here new jersey charlotte and then tacoma uh, it looks like it gets a little bit stronger as that stretch goes along uh going off of talent but you never know what could happen in the usfa uh after that looks like they're going to split home away home away home for the rest of the way, Toronto at home, Arizona at uh, Arizona at Arizona, then New York at uh, t- uh, Tampa, then Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh, and then they'll have New Jersey come to Florida to close the season. Yeah, and I, you know, one of the big things to watch out for are the long um, road stretches we pointed out with toronto and their four game uh road stretch at the end of the year tampa's got a similar one uh three games there from week it looks like seven to nine they'll be on the road um so it'll be important for them to see if they can't pick up a few wins out of that and try and maintain a playoff race if they're in it by that point We're sticking with the seeding. That means we'll need to go to the team that got eliminated in the Western Conference uh, wild card card. card. And that will be Arizona, if I can remember. That is correct. Look, it's all a blur, people. (laughs) It's all a blur, man. Even the end part of the season. But shout out to Arizona. (laughs) 
uh, they got uh, looks like an away game to start out their season against Anchorage, and then they got their first home game really quickly after that. They'll play Dallas. That rivalry from season eight is going to be renewed, and I won't be surprised if that'll be one of the primetime games for sure. Uh, that was a wild card game going into the season, so it's going to be fun. Then we got the away uh, game here going to Tacoma, and then they got. Charlotte at home, then they got St. Louis at St. Louis, and then they got a little bit of a home stretch there. They got Huntington Beach and then Tacoma coming into town. So that's going to be a big, big two games for Arizona in the middle of the season. Got to watch out for them. And um, Dallas, Toronto, and Huntington Beach on the road. So they just finished playing Huntington Beach, and then they got to close that away stretch in california so watch out for that then they got three out of their last four games at home so that's actually pretty favorable for them but they got some tough teams to play tampa bay at home pittsburgh on the road and then they close out the season with st louis and then anchorage and anchorage one of the was one of those teams last year that was kind of giving teams fits um pretty much a a bubble playoff team the entire year and i wouldn't be surprised if they continue to do that for teams this year um st louis moving over to the western conference is just i mean brutal. it's making this entire western conference brutal yeah brutal. so no no easy stretches here in the western conference uh best of luck to arizona this year now that we got the wild card teams down, now we got to talk about the teams that got eliminated in the conference final, and we can go back to the East if you want to. That'll be St. Louis, if I can remember. Uh, yeah, so we can do that one. Um, St. Louis doing their thug fizzle. I ain't mad at your homies, but they got a home stretch, uh, a little old mini home stretch to start out the season there. Huntington Beach's first time going at it. And you already know that is a season seven United Bowl matchup, not quite season eight, but a uh, great job overall from them. And uh, they'll play Huntington Beach at home, and then they'll also play Anchorage at home. And then they have their first away game against Tampa. So the number one team at the East last season will go up against the number two uh, team at the East last season. Going to be fun. Then they got two more games at home against Tacoma and Arizona. Then they got two games on the road there with Dallas and New York. Pittsburgh will have uh, their trip over to St. Louis after that. And then they have two games on the road again. That's Huntington Beach and Anchorage. So pretty much what happened in the beginning of the season is happening again, but this time on opposite sex. And then they got Dallas and Charlotte at home. And then they have Arizona and Tacoma on the road. So the first half of this season for St. Louis is going to be really important in my eyes because um, four of their, so all of their home games against their division opponents, um, with the exception of Dallas, are coming in the first five weeks of the season, uh, which means in the last five, six weeks of the season, they have to play all of their division rivals again but on the road um and on the road can be a lot more difficult than at home so the f the first bit of this season is going to be really important for st louis and my eyes most stuff most stuff they're going to try to see if they can run the western conference as good as they did in the east but like we said earlier you got huntington beach tacoma's trying to get back arizona they're not giving up dallas has all that talent like St. Louis better bring their A game or they could find themselves out in the playoffs. You never know. But it also depends on how good Naomi McNamerson does again for see if he can uh, get another MVP caliber season. But who knows until it happens. For sure. Absolutely. And that brings us up to the runners up of the United Bowl last season, the Charlotte Royals. Charlotte Royals indeed. Shout out to Charlotte, North Carolina. And it looks like they are going to kick things off with the New Jersey Battalion, so they will have their first crack at one of the new uh, teams coming into the league, and I'm sure that will favor Charlotte, but like I said, never know until it happens. So, 
Uh, then they got Tampa on the road. So they'll have two straight conference games, actually three straight if you count the third one. And there goes Pittsburgh at home. Therefore, Charlotte, good job. Then you got Arizona, so they'll go interconference for the first time. They'll play against the Rattlers in Arizona. Then they go back home to New York, actually back home to face New York. Then they got a little bit of a mini stretch going back and forth. You see New Jersey, they're coming back, but this time they'll play in Rutherford. Then they got to face the other new team that's coming into the league. That's Toronto. That'll be week number seven, if I can count. Good job, me. And then they got Tampa and Anchorage at home. Then they'll finish it up with Pittsburgh on Pittsburgh. And then they got Huntington Beach at home. That'll be a fun game. See them play again uh, since the last time they played, which was the United Bowl. Then they got St. Louis, Toronto, and New York in away home, away fashion. So a uh, big matchup, obviously, is that Week 11 uh, United Bowl uh, rematch. Um, and then on top of that, the Week 12 Eastern Conference final rematch with St. Louis. So two big games a circle on the calendar. Yeah, back-to-back, back too. Um, however, all things considered, I think uh, Charlotte's got a pretty nice schedule. Um, fairly easy, all things considered. So how that happened, I, I don't really know. Just luck of the draw, but oh yeah, gonna be a fun um, ride there for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. Finally, we only got one more left to talk about. Got to talk about the champs, man. <laughs> Absolutely. And there we are. Here be season eight and six and four and two. United Bowl champion Heinz and Beach Boy is just coming back at it. And they're going to start out with the big game here. If you remember last season, it took two overtimes for that game to settle out. They got to play against St. Louis. So I'm expecting that to be a huge matchup to kick the season off. I can't wait to see it. Then they got their red rivals right after that week number two. So that's a tough stretch there for Heinz and Beach. We'll see what Ryan Davis could cook up. but. It would not surprise me if HBV went zero and two to start the season, uh, just off of that alone, right? Then they got. Uh, I mean, then, heck, hmm? Anchorage. Anchorage is another team in week three that they Anchorage gave Huntington Beach hell last year, so they could potentially go zero and three if history holds true. And then they got Dallas right after that. And you've seen in the conference championship game, Dallas didn't give up. They just couldn't get their points like they wanted to. But that's a real tough stretch there for Huntington Beach to come out of the gate. But it starts to slack maybe a little bit as they move towards playing against New Jersey. So we're going to have a little bit of Navy, Navy versus Army type matchup uh, to kick off week five. That's pretty cool. Um, got Arizona in Pittsburgh. Uh, that'll be on the road there for HPV. Then they got Anchorage, St. Louis, and Arizona at home. So they'll have a three game uh, home stretch there. Uh, I'm sure that'll help them out for sure. Then they play, just like we said before, Charlotte um, at week. That's number 11. Yes. 11. Um, and then mm -hmm. uh, Tacoma right after that. So they'll face their red versus blue rivals there. And then New York and Dallas. To close out the set and that'll be at home so like we were talking about they need to capitalize early if they slow down just a little bit in the beginning it'll be tough it'll be tough for them and it's not yeah, an even season so like anything goes now there ain't no even season now. <laughs> yeah so i mean the in anything in the west is just the schedule is just going to be tough because of the teams out there are just so good. Um, the Eastern Conference teams, I'd say, have a bit of an easier time of it. But ultimately, because the skill levels are pretty similar um, in within their respective conferences, uh, it, it should still be a bit of a grind for both both sides. Okay, so here's a question for you. So we talked okay. about the West a little bit. Do you see any Western Conference team hitting 10 wins this season? 
Oh, man. Um, maybe. I, I think one Western Conference team is going to get lucky and hit 10 wins. Um, which one that is, I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue as well. Um, I think if I was to choose, I'm still going to lean towards the talent there in Huntington Beach. Uh, until they prove that they really can't do it, I'm still going to lean towards them being that top dog. Uh, but you can make the case for the other teams in the West as well. Arizona's up there. They're trying to get better. St. Louis checks in. They just beat pretty much every other team outside of the conference championship game within the regular season. So, I mean, it could honestly go either way. Tacoma's still strong. Anchorage, I'm not sure if I see 10 wins for them next season, but I'm sure they're going to push for the playoffs. Um, going to be a fun, fun ride uh, there, and don't forget Dallas as well, especially having Mister uh, Mister Chico Dolph Jackson there in the backfield. So, um, anything goes <laughs> for, from how I see it in the West. Yeah, it's it's going to be a, a tough, tough time in the West. But hey, you know what? Be, because all the teams are relatively even there too. It's not going to be much easier. I think we've got some great pair these teams do and how they get after it. Most definitely. And uh, I was trying to see what what was your thoughts on the Eastern Conference as well. They got oh. two new teams coming into the fold. So logic will tell you that they still need a lot of growth overall, especially from the upcoming draft. Uh, who do you see as the top three teams? Before um, we get to I would have to s- I would have to say Charlotte, Tampa Bay, and Pittsburgh are my top three, with Toronto being a good close fourth. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, most definitely. And uh, I think that's all the, all the setup we got there. Um, you have any other uh, closing thoughts about the schedules that we just popped up? Uh, no, not particularly. Like I said, you know, I'm I'm excited to see uh, how this all plays out, and it'll all be put up on the website here in. Uh, the coming day. Awesome, awesome. So, shout out to everybody in the chat. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll go ahead and wrap it up here, and we'll go ahead and get some more prep work for season number nine. Just to let you know where I am at. Uh, we're actually working on some more modding stuff. Shout out to my boy Mix. He's helping me out with a few things. Hopefully, him and his homies can uh, get us through and. Uh, added some more immersion to our presentation definitely with the media and stuff and uh wouldn't be able to do us all without you guys man you, know, you all do it for us and uh i said that we could go ahead and wrap this thing up check a couple things here my bad but we'll go ahead and close oh, it here uh, close out here stay safe everybody best of luck uh, to everybody going forward, and we'll talk to you later. Ah.